plaintiff, Mallory Fawcett, met the defendant when they worked together. And although the defendant flirted with her, they were nothing more than friends. Mallory suing because after she took her car to the defendant for repairs, he never returned the vehicle. Defendant Herbert Neely admits that he and Mallory never dated, but he insists they were intimate. Herbert claims he completed the repairs on Mallory's vehicle and left it at his mom's house. But Mallory failed to pick it up. Start with you. Um, I met the defendant when I was about 18. We worked at Chili's together. I was a hostess and he was a cook. Uh, we became friends over uh, with an interest in import cars. Um, we, he would compliment me, uh, call me hun and beautiful, and I would thank him. But I usually had a boyfriend and he usually had a girlfriend. Did that bother you? No, no. Okay. I, I just, I mean, at the time I would tell him. And that's why it was all right for him to compliment you. Right. Okay. Some ladies appreciate it. Some think you're sexualizing or objectifying or hitting on them, making them feel uncomfortable, particularly in the workplace. So, men just err on the, don't be like him, err on the side. <laughs> Everybody might not be like her. All right. So he compliments you. You all were friends. And you had a, you shared a love for import cars. Mm -hmm. What else happened with the friendship so, before uh, we got to usually this mess? I, yes. So usually he would have a girlfriend, and over time um, he would ghost me. He wouldn't talk to me on uh, Facebook regarding um, our agreement, and uh, he would say the girlfriends would be blocking me. So I was very patient with that. Plaintiff Mallory Fawcett met the defendant at work, and she says they were nothing more than friends, but the defendant insists they were intimate. Let me get some background from you. Uh, we met, like she said, at Chili's. I was a cook, she was a hostess, and I guess friendship, yeah, I had a girlfriend at the time, but I'd also go stay at her mom's house with her at night. We'd make out off and on. Uh, Who? Me and Mallory. No, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. A couple of years go by, she gets a hold of me. She gets some beds for me, for one of her boyfriend's kids. Some what? Some beds for her boyfriend's kids. And uh, after that, she found out I had a shop. She come down to the shop one night, we were talking, things got heated, we made out on the couch, everything else. Uh, we stopped before it went any She farther. come there to get the car fixed and you fixed. We weren't even talking about fixing the <laughs> car. It wasn't even about the car. We were just talking, hanging out. I was kind of showing her some of the projects we had going on. <laughs> Please don't tell me part of the car. Um, she wanted you to fix with pipes. No. <laughs> At that point, we weren't even messing with cars. Right. We were just... Go she ahead. Was like, I was going to throw you off for being rude and lewd. And, uh... Go ahead. You know, a couple days go by. She gets a hold of me about her brother's Pontiac Fiero. She said she overfilled it with oil, brings it to the shop. She put, like, two gallons in it. Blew the piston rings out. So that car had been sitting at my shop for... Ever. Okay, now let me allow her to give me the specifics about why she's suing you. Okay. So you came to the shop, mm -hmm. you went in and you all did your thing in the, uh, on the couch in his office. That's what he says. That's I, a lobby. Honestly, that's not true? I lobby. would say that's elaborated a little bit. We've got Exaggerated video still, a little, so we have Elaborated, all right. Anyway. That means a little something happened when you say that. But okay, we can leave that alone. Um, <laughs> Now you sound you backing up from no to a little, <laughs> to uh, exaggerated. I mean a little. Um, so what was the agreement on the car? Let's go there. He was he, the title was signed over for the Fiero in exchange for him working on the Nissan. That was the agreement. Okay. And what was he to do for the Nissan? Uh, there was cosmetic repair that needed to be done around the rear tires. There was uh, some rust there. What parts of the car? The body all around the car? Uh, I've got pictures here. Do I bring it up to you? No, you can give it to Joel, please. Thank you. This is what he was to repair? Yes. All right. And what did happen? Uh, he was to do this. This is before. Yep. His uh, messages said that he, it would only take a couple of weeks, and then uh, he had a death in his family. Um, so I was very patient with that. Come December, he said that it would December, be... December, when did you turn it in? Right, I, July uh, 2015, and in December 2015, he said that it would take over the winter. So Why over the entire winter? Because he said that it w there was some work that needed to be done. The quarter panels needed completely peeled out yep. and cut out. Did it take six months, sir? When you're doing it by yourself in a garage, yeah. All right. 
And so, and you were all right with that, six yep. months? I mean, what can I do? He was out of state, and I had no else. idea where it was Go happen. ahead, though. You were all right with the <laughs> six months, and yep. then what happened? So I would message him every once in a while and just kind of ask how the completion was going on. After it. the six months, or uh, just trying to do a checkup during the six-month process? Uh, this would be after the six months. So the, okay. last time I the last time he messaged me was July 2016, and then he ghosted me again, uh, blocked me on Facebook. Um, what so, did his message say when he um, messaged The last you? message he sent. And tell me why you're suing for the value of the car. Sure. I am suing for the value of the car because when we initially um, agreed to him fixing the Nissan, he asked me how much I planned on selling it mm -hmm. for before he fixed it, and I said 2500 Okay, so what happened? Did he not return he the car at all? He never returned the car. Yep, he never returned the car, and the last time I talked to him was 2017 on the phone, and he said that he was still out of state and that he was almost near completion. I said whatever condition it was in, I wanted to pick it so up. So it went from July 15th to July 17th? Yes. Like, he it was over... He was still telling you he's yes. going to fix it? Yeah, he's still telling me he was going to fix it. And I told him I called and right him Right now, do you know where I the car no is? I have no idea where happened? it's at. Sorry I told him whatever you. whatever condition it was in, I wanted okay. to pick it up. Uh, hear from you. She gave me the car to fix. I was fixing it. My brother committed suicide, and I was dealing with that. I had my brother's kids at the time. Sorry to hear that. And uh, on top of that, I got Crohn's. I didn't know I had it. I was getting really, really sick off and on. And there were messages I'd tell her that I had Crohn's. So my girlfriend at the time knew the history between me and Mallory. She had my phone when I'd be in the hospital. So a lot of times she would not tell me. Mallory would message me because she didn't like her. Stuff like that. Um, August of 2017, I tried so contacting So let's back him. up. For two years, you could not complete the job? No, I was sick. Got it. You Crohn's. told her that? Yeah, there was messages where I told her I had. Crimes. You have those messages? No, I don't. I okay. deleted I don't my Facebook completely. Pardon? I don't have any. I don't have any recollection of him you having Crohn's. He never called right. you and asked for more time because no. he was hospitalized. No. No. The last time I talked to him, he said I. I told He's my never wife. mentioned a health problem no. to you. And the and death in the family, he told me. Okay. He told me his and dad died. And you say died. you have, but you did it uh, by voice. No, I sent some texts. You just through. don't have them today. Yeah, I don't have All them right. anymore. Plaintiff Mallory Fawcett met the defendant at work, and she says they were nothing more than friends. But the defendant insists they were intimate. What happened ultimately? Uh, the police towed it after they got a hold of her. The Mackinac police, police took it after I've they got, got a hold of her. The police said that they had contacted her and with no response, so they towed it. Contacted Be her from... No, you had the car. I ended up getting the car done. I took it to Mackinac and had sent a text to her phone saying it was at my mom's in Mackinac. Okay, you brought it to Mackinac. She's been to my Mackinac. mom's house before. Uh -huh. She knows where my mom's is at. And what happened? Uh, the police ticketed it. They Why? put a stick because it didn't have current registration and it was inoperable. Okay. All right. How is and that inoperable? I've got this where the police stated that. What is that? What is that? It's uh, the police me. statement from the chief of police stating that. He had the car towed after he tried contacting Let's Mallory, see that, too. Sir. I can see that from here. Chief of police don't write like this. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is not something letterhead is what I'm looking for. Chief of police He's not the chief don't anymore. write this. You said it was the chief of police. It is. It says former. You can so call So I don't him. care what it says here, sir. They have letterhead. Chief of police don't He's give not you nothing chief. to write. Have a good day. Okay. Judgment for the plaintiff. Good day.